Hello again. So here's another one of my uh, models that I have been working on. Uh, I You may have noticed it before in another video, um, but I've now sprayed it uh, with my uh, rust colored primer and it's uh, a mech. So I'll zoom in and you can have a closer look. Now, the whole thing was created using, uh, once again, uh, a Star Wars toys, broken Star Wars toys, uh, Nerf guns and uh, other bits of plastic and other broken toys. The uh, primer is a first coat and then I will be uh, putting um, a kind of khaki colour on top of it Hopefully the uh, rust will show through when I've uh, completed that part of it. Just zooming in there to get a bit more detail off the back. And the legs. Um, apart from the uh, obvious Star Wars toys, I'm using uh, lots of uh, bits of broken electronic equipment uh, because of the shapes that you can get from them and wiring and so on. I was lucky that I was able to find two Nerf guns uh, more or less exactly the same shape because it gives the uh, mech some kind of symmetry. I'm going to zoom in now to the cockpit and as you can see I've got a little figure there uh, I, I actually started with the figure and a small helicopter toy and that gave me the idea of creating the um, mech in the first place so that the figure is in uh, is in scale with the toy with the with the mech itself now I haven't got a cockpit on it at the moment, but hang on a minute. Now you can see the uh, cockpit from the uh, old uh, helicopter toy has now been installed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, paint um, copy decks um, uh, glue over the top. It's a latex glue. It will act as a masking fluid. And I'll put it over the windows and then spray the rest of the cockpit with the with the rust color and then peel the copy decks off and then i'll have the full cockpit there and it will be open you'll be able to open it up to see inside and there we are like that so that's the whole mech more or less how it's going to look as you can see I think I'm going to be spraying it a kind of greeny um, colour, but again giving it the idea that it's completely washed out and worn and weather worn and full of uh, scars and stuff like that with the paintwork. I'll come in a bit onto the legs and you see down here some of the stuff down here and underneath as well. So that's that particular mech, but I wanted to also show you some other ideas I've been working on because um, not content with doing one mech, I think I'm going to try another one and uh, let me show you it. Now I haven't even begun this one yet, but um, this is going to be another one. This is um, an old, uh, well you can see it's an old Batman toy that I've picked up in, uh, in a junk shop probably cost me about 50 pence to be perfectly honest with you but um combined with um this cockpit from a huey helicopter toy uh, i think you can get the idea what's going to happen i'm going to have a kind of um, large cockpit there fixed onto that and i'm going to develop a, a much bigger mech from that um i've got some other 
bits and pieces like this this um, old uh, G.I. Joe toy um, that's going to have uh, this gun fixed to it on the uh, on one of the arms uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this arm yet I'll have to figure that out um, I've also picked up some um, what, what are these these are uh, um, uh, they're uh, Oh, they're from uh, uh, sh uh, shelving units. Sorry about that. I was trying, trying to figure out how to how to show it to you. <laughs> Hang on a second. Right, so I just figured it out. That's how it's going to go. It's going to sort of fix onto there. Now here, I won't be able to use CA glue. I'll have to use some kind of. Um, uh, I'll have to put. I'll have to use screws to put those in. There. But that will bulk out the the legs more like that and then i'll build up from there so that's another mech that i'm going to be working on there just to give you some idea um so that's the next project or one of the next projects anyway and that's a more of a profile at the end of it you'll get more of a profile on it there you go so i think that's going to look pretty pretty good when it's finished And the third and final thing I want to show you uh, today is um, this idea that I've had um, when I picked up this uh, old um, toy remote controlled car, it's a Ferrari car. Again, picked that up in a car boot sale for about a pound. It's got no legs, it's quite, it's got no wheels, it's quite broken up. Uh, but I then picked up some other bits and pieces these bits in here and I'm wondering if you can guess what I'm going to try and do with this I'll just turn it around that way you'll see that I'm going to fix this on here and um, we've got the makings of a Blade Runner spinner a uh, flying car so it's going to fix onto the uh, onto the uh, sides there and again all this junk picked up very very cheaply um, in car boot sales and junk shops I think these things didn't even cost me anything I think I kind of just picked them up really um, probably about 50 pence or or, or a couple of pence anyway so that's the that's the other idea just to show you to what I've been working what I, will, I picked up this week and what I'll be sort of trying uh, to work out in the future anyway again thank you very much for watching and um, uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye now.